What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? It is very possible that we are in the thick of things right now and that we're about to see that explosive move that we've really been waiting on for a little while. And I'm going to sum all this up for you to start off your Monday so that you can get incredibly bullish as the week goes on. But we are very, very, very... Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in and uh, let's kick it off. Okay, piece one, we have some clarity right now with coin market cap, which means that Terraform Labs has now relinquished their control over the dashboard and all nodes has taken over. Prop 12141 has passed. As you can see right here, 99.78% uh, yes. There was 0.01% no uh, with veto, 0.818% no and then 0.03 abstain. So this is basically as landslide as it gets. Now, uh, if you validate with Mandalorian or Catalyst, Catalyst X, Catalystic, uh, if you do and you don't like their vote, redelegate. Uh, no with veto, no results here found, and then abstain, abstain is LMDN, luck market development. No. Now, if, again, if you like or don't like, whatever it is that you feel, then delegate as needed. And if you thought about no, then everybody else voted yes. So delegate accordingly. But we've got clarity in the market. In the meantime, the update links is not going to pass there, uh, but we do have a proposal to remove forked modules from Terra Classic. Now, right now, the voting is 99.7% yes to 0.2% no. However, this just started moments ago, really. So you've got a bunch of yeses that have come through so far, but, you know, uh, there, there's nothing really else to talk about at this point. So we'll see how this goes over the next little while. And uh, I think that if you want to, by the way, go read this. What we're talking about is removing a lot of forks. These forked versions. Uh, here's the current situation. The Terra Classic code base currently used several forked versions of Cosmos modules to accommodate its unique features. These forks have caused the code base to increasingly diverge from the upstream module, increasing maintenance costs as long as it persists. With the current version of Luna Classic and the upstream modules, we now have the opportunity to remove the fork modules maintained by the Terra Classic team, integrate the standard upstream modules and then port Terra Classic specific changes to the Terrad module itself. This approach would allow Terra Classic to inherit up-to-date securities and features from the Cosmos development team, massively reducing maintenance cost and time. So what we're talking about is some of the variables that exist on Terra Luna Classic right now will be removed in these fork modules so that it's now a more streamlined version so that when Cosmos does a security update in the event that that's needed, that we would also be able to immediately integrate that in without the work and the effort of paying a team constantly to do these special updates and account for each one of the forked modules. So uh, ultimately, this is probably a pretty good opportunity for us to streamline Terra Luna Classic uh, in, in many different ways, certainly from a security standpoint. So we'll see how that goes. But again, another bullish thing. Now, as far as meme coin craziness goes, Juris Protocol continues to soar up, 100, up to $110. Again, remember, we put $50 into these. Cat with Hat is at 109 after we put 50 in. Uh, boys, uh, after we put 50 in, 105. Food is at 95 right now. Garuda, not trading very much at all, but I got a feeling that it's going to change real quick. Also, if you look at your Terra, uh, your Terra pairing right now uh, with Luna Classic, it's up 3.5% on the day. Nice little recovery. And Frag, remember, Frag is long zombies, so uh, up 3% as well for the day. Now, remember over on Commonwealth, Orbit Labs review of the reverse charge tax handling on Terra Classic. Uh, go review that as you uh, as you would. And remember, the establishment of a standing body is also something that's under consideration. Will it make it to governance? I don't know. I probably should. We should probably have. Look, we should probably have a steering committee. But uh, at this point, we do not. That's a that's something for a different time because it's time to get bullish. Because first, let's talk price action. All right, guys. So. Um, and I'm just messing with you at this point. But look, price action went all the way up to about 94 yesterday before retracing back down to 91. Now, you want to see it do that. You want to see it come down and at least trade in this range, but continue an upward trajectory. What we're doing is we're establishing new holders. You can see over here by the volume node that, in fact, we are right in the area of that big volume node right there. So we're right where we should be for a next impulse move. Next impulse move would take us to at least dropping the zero at three zeros 
Uh, if you kind of move around here just a little bit, you'll see that volume node is right there, taking us right into that little range right there. So that would be the next big impulse move, not the long-term impulse move. Long-term, I think we're gonna come up here and we're gonna make a much bigger move uh, into this right here at 12,151 right there. Now, uh, beyond that, then we're talking about breaking out and going into the golden ratio, which is gonna be at 3016299 from this last impulse move right now. So um, there is a path forward if you are wondering, and we're probably gonna get there. Now, ultimately what we're looking for is we're looking for a breakout up here to test the top of this range and then break out of the top of that range because in the short term, just to remind you guys that we did have some resistance forming right there, broke out of that, back tested it, and now we're off to the races, if you will. The market down $32 billion on the day, uh, but I think that's just real normal profit taking, of course. U.S. market not up yet uh, at the time of recording this, so I don't know how they're going to react. You could see something. You could see a sell-off. Um, I, I, I could I could see some liquidity heat seekers trying to come in here and, and uh, dunk on the price. The bears have been getting wrecked for a little while right now. Remember, we were 59000 not that long ago on Bitcoin. Now we're at 68000 so uh, bears... You know, $10,000 variance right there. Bears need to recover a little bit, so they're going to be selling a lot to try to force that price down. And we'll see how uh, how much it affects the bulls, which, by the way, record-setting week for the Bitcoin ETF. So, but let's keep going here. Volume is up 120% uh, on USTC. Volume is up 21%. So people are paying attention to Luna Classic. Now, why are they paying attention to Luna Classic? Well, I'm glad you asked. This Terra Classic, this Terraform Labs wallet right here, this is the 253 billion of the 274 billion that Terra uh, Terraform Labs has right now. And they've only got nine days to burn that. Now, what does that look like more broadly? Well, when we come over here, we look at there's only been 135 billion that have been burned so far. We're about to triple the level of burns that we have overall in the next nine days okay this is about to close out and we're about to see enormous burns happening in this ecosystem so that's a reason to get extremely bullish now here's the other part to that remember this is a fomo this is going to be a fomo sort of burn process here this does not mean that we are set at a sustainable level for a long or extended period of time but that is just the catalyst that we need to take us up again to the top of this range right here okay that's the type of move that we're going to get at a minimum now listen if we catch fire i gave you at the end of the year i thought that we could get up here into this range right here and that's three zeros 59 guess what that's still on tap now what does that do ultimately well remember we have a pretty big ecosystem starting to develop of meme coins with priority here most of these are paired with luna classic that's how it works when you have your own ecosystem so guess what as terra luna classic pumps and it well where are we at right now we're at uh nine nine so if it's six x's from where it What's up guys, Cryptonomy currently has 850,000 users worldwide. system. It offers staking for more than 600 coins. Guys, you can earn yield on your favorite cryptos. It also supports over 4,000 trading pairs with the best exchange rates and no fees. On top of that, the company regularly hosts giveaways and provides gifts and opportunities for the community. Let me give you an example of that right now. From today until November 1st, for every fixed staking deposit of 1,000 USDT or more or launch pool contract created, they're going to give away a random bonus of 50 to 5,000 USDT credited in the native token of the deposit. Now, speaking of this, there is a giveaway that you can see right here. If you got an email, if you're a member, if not, Miss Columbus Day, here's your last chance. And that means from November 1st, you're going to have an opportunity to get in on the Columbus Day reward here. Again, this Columbus Day reward is deposit 1,000, get up to 50 or 5,000 USD in credits for the native token that you've made for a deposit. Listen, guys, Cryptonomy makes it so simple. All you have to do is hodl. All you have to do is hold your crypto, grow your portfolio, add in some staking from 
cryptonomy, use your fixed staking protocol, use your launch pool protocol, and start earning yield right now. You let cryptonomy use your crypto. Cryptonomy turns your crypto into more money for you. That's what everybody's looking for. That's what everybody wants. Make it happen with cryptonomy.finance today. And listen, let me show you my results again. The completed staking that I did not that long ago, the accrued interest from this was 168,000. That was a 50-50 split that I made with these guys because it was a short period of time. So much so that I went into the bronze where I get a 75% reward which is, I haven't gotten it yet, but I've accrued 68,173 so far. This contract date ends in June of 2025. Uh, the bull run will not be over by that point. And remember guys, the important part, that's where the top of the estimated bull market is gonna be. All of this crypto right here has been staked and I'm gonna get a huge amount to cash out when the time is right. Now, when it comes to the launch pool, look at the last returns that we got. Storm Trade, 2, 2x, Omnia, 4x, Trax, 2x, Carve, 1.64x. These guys are making great gains, and you get a cut of that if you work with the launch pool. So what are you waiting for? Get started today at cryptonomy.finance. Is These things will go at least 3 to 5x from where they are without anybody getting excited about any of them. Not that there's no reason to get excited, but it doesn't matter because the pairing will favor price appreciation on every single one of these. Uh, the Lunk USTC pairing, the Juris uh, Lunk pairing, the Cat with Hat Lunk pairing. Remember, they're still burning Cat with Hat. Uh, boys pairing, food pairing, all of these pairings will start to just absolutely rocket and take off. There's gonna be a windfall for everybody who's investing in these meme coins. Now, not only that, but we still have unknown wallets that are sitting out here. The amount that we could be looking at could be vastly greater than 274 billion. That's just what we know, right? That's exactly what we see out here. Not only that, but you're talking about USTC. Uh, let's remember 290 million there. Luna Foundation Guard has 1.8 billion. I just want you to take a moment here and look at this. 290 million plus 1.8 billion. You're talking right now about 2.1 billion USTC. 2.1 billion USTC, circulating supply is 5.83. So could this dramatically reduce the supply? Well, now my question would be, uh, is it are those factored into the total supply or did somebody already update it for that? Like it could be a big nothing burger in this regard. However, uh, with Terra Classic, I don't think that it is. I think we've been pretty specific about these so far. So I think this is going to be a big deal. I think this is going to be that moment where we look at it and say, wow, you know, we didn't expect all of this to happen. And, you know, I mean, we'll see ultimately what happens here. But uh, also, mind you, uh, we have one unknown wallet here with 90 million. We have one unknown wallet with 86 million. Most likely exchanges, by the way. These are most likely some sort of exchange somewhere or other So uh, when they have that much. So uh, there is that possibility. But we do know that 2.1 billion USTC are about to be burned, which brings people into this ecosystem. Like it all synergistic, right? It all revolves around uh, this big burn protocol that's getting ready to happen over the next couple of days. Now, as far as burns look, overall 288 million over the last several days not great but not bad i mean when you break it down how they've burned yesterday we had 44 million out of nowhere getting burned which is a pretty big day um uh, and then you had a couple of pretty good days over here on the 17th and 18th as well uh and then uh, a week ago we had 64 so you know there's a lot still being burned not not huge not huge but nice right can we just say nice? So uh, get excited. And while you're excited, go play Los Muertos Locos. Uh, it's being sponsored to you by Red Tiger over on Terra Casino. Also, World Poker League sponsoring from September 20th to December 22nd, 2 million euro giveaway. Uh, you'd be crazy if you didn't at least take a shot at it. Like, why are you not taking a shot at it, right? Uh, also, these are all the tokens that you can use. Uh, you can use Lunk. You can use Luna. You got you got a bag of Luna. Everybody has a bag of Luna at this point, right? Uh, we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, Matic, uh, Polygon, I guess, at this point. Um, 
USDC, USDT, Dogecoin, XRP, Link. You can use them all. Just go sign up, log in. And by the way, when you connect your wallet, it'll ask you ERC20 wallet, uh, Cosmos wallet. You, you choose which, which, which band you want, and then you can start going. And guess what? There are people out here playing live right now. You know what the cool thing is? All of these people right now, they are qualifying. They are actually qualifying for one of these big payoffs, which you're not getting. Which you're not getting. Why are you not getting it? Like, uh, gross. And don't forget, Pragmatic Play is sponsoring $11,000 daily cash drops from October 1 to October 27, which means you got about six days left. So, I mean, do you not like money or something? Sign up today. Now we got a big one that just happened over here, and we're going to close this out with Terraport.finance. Guys, uh, I do have my stake set up over here. You know it's going to unlock in about 10 days. We've been doing this for about 90 days now. Uh, if you want to trade meme coins, this is the place to trade meme coins. But you notice there's something a little different here. There's like a little update that's happened here that we don't know about, and that's this. Selenium Launchpad is live now. Don't miss a chance to earn rewards. Play it now. Here it is right here. Selenium is a DeFi protocol powered by smart contracts on the Terra classic network that enables the creation of synthetic assets called selenized assets. Selenium synthetic assets follow the price behavior of real world assets and give traders anywhere in the world open access to price exposure without the burdens of owning or transacting real assets. And you can see right here, there is a countdown for it. Now, the official website right here, uh, here is the white paper. I would suggest over the next couple days, we are going to be talking about this a little bit more. Uh, it's going to be claimable rewards, uh, total amount earned. This is the, an example of the dashboard right here. Uh, pretty, pretty slick, uh, as it is right now, but uh, let's do things right. Global accessibility provides access to global financial markets in a transparent and intermediary free manner. You're getting exposure to global financial markets here. And look, this is exactly what you're looking to do, right? We're going to get into this a little bit later, but there, this is based on pillars. The first pillar is creation of selenized assets. Um, it's selenized assets, you know, a gold asset or a silver asset or something like that, uh, backed by selenium. Uh, second pillar would be decentralized trading. Uh, third pillar would be liquidity provision. The fourth pillar would be decentralized governance. Like this is a big opportunity right here. And then of course, if you come here at selenium.finance, then the community link is right down here. Uh, the telegram is going to be right there. Uh, you can click on that and you can get in there. So um, what are you waiting for? Um, it, my wallet holds an average of 5,527. So you're going to have to have at least 10,000 Terra. So uh, 10,000 Terra, I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's, you know, hundred bucks, maybe uh, something like that. Like it's not, it's not going to be that expensive. So this gets you in, this gets you access. And by the way, here's your daily login. Here's your uh, daily swaps. Uh, here's your opportunity to get in, burn 100 Terra. Um, so you're going to get a lot of different opportunity to get yourself some selenium when this launches. And guys, it's important to do something like this if you really want that, that next leg up. So, um, get in here, uh, get working right now. Uh, you got people who are, who've already completed 16 of these quests with a score of 685 right now. There are some people out here, uh, getting paid, if you will. So uh, if you want to be one of those people, make sure you sign up at terraport.finance today. All right, guys. This is very, very simple. Um, 288 million have been burned over the last seven days. We're about to get billions upon billions. 274 billion, at estimation, are about to be burned. Uh, about 2.1 billion uh, USTC are about to be burned. Things are about to change dramatically in this ecosystem. Now, that does mean that you could look at a big, like I said, 6X seems to be about where I thought things were going to go. We're getting towards the end of October. Remember one final piece. And this is it right here. Uh, ceramic is working on that $1 USTC repeg. Again, big proposal. When does that proposal come out? Well, I think it's going to be November 6th. It's supposed to be like the first day. It's supposed to be seven days, exactly one week after the um, closure of Terraform Labs. And it was not ready at the time. Back in September, we were talking about it originally because he had not considered the amount of burns that would be necessary. So that was being worked on. By the way, this does not mean that something is going to happen. This means that we're talking about proposals and he's going to put up the first real, you know, layout of what it would look like for everybody like the Strathcoles and the Happy Caddy Cryptos and, and all of these guys to really kind of look at this thing and try to figure out like what is going on here and how it can be implemented and in, and improve this network, if you will. So, you know, that's what we're looking for. That's what you would like to see happen here. So, um, you know, there's so many things right now that you should be so excited about in the Terra Luna Classic community that if you don't have a bag, you're just sleeping. You're just sleeping your way through life and you're not going to make it. Um, 
And if, by the way, if you're hate watching me right now because you don't like Terra Luna Classic and you don't want to see it succeed because that's the type of person that you are, haha, uh -huh. that's all I got to say for you, haha. Uh -huh. Because guess what? We're gonna get a nice big pump. And by the way, make sure you take your profits. Be responsible with this on your way. But uh, we got something big getting ready to happen, guys. I'm telling you right now. I know that it's in the chamber. It's in the pipeline right now. So uh, join me on this journey. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.